Hey everyone, it's me, Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you guys like story times, I do these occasionally, but I have a ton of other content on my channel that I hope that you guys enjoy. If you guys are already subscribed and you want to be part of the notification squad, click the bell down below. If you guys want to follow me on my Snapchat, because I talk about these situations all the time on there, then um, feel free to screenshot my snap code or the snap username is in my description box with all my other social medias. Yeah, so like, let's just get started with this video. And the reason that I even remembered this was because he messaged me pretty recently, which was kind of awkward. Everything that had happened just came flooding back to my memory and I was like, wow, this would be a great YouTube video. So as you guys saw by the title, this was one of the most awkward, weird Tinder date experiences I had been on. This was over the summer and I was really bored, so I used Tinder to like kind of make friends and my goal was never to like get a boyfriend or hook up off Tinder, it was just purely to make friends. And this one guy and I had been talking for a while, we had been Snapchatting and kind of getting to know one another. We're going to call this guy Connor and then... As I introduce other characters into the story, we're gonna give them names as well, but for now, Connor is the guy that I met off Tinder. So a little bit of background information that goes along with this whole situation was, it's summer, so it's really hot in Arizona, it's over 100 degrees, and you sweat your ass off because it's just really, really hot. We decided we wanted to meet up, and we decided we'd like meet a place that's like halfway, so it's like 45 minutes for me to drive, and then I'm guessing like 25 for him because it was a little closer to him, but like further from me, and it was an outdoor mall in Arizona, so we like met up, and we met up in front of a PetSmart. <laughs> like no joke. So that day, I had gotten completely ready, I put makeup on, I was wearing a top that was like crisscross, it was like the trend during the summer, and then a skirt, and it was so hot, and... Um, I had taken a lot of time to like look good that day. I even bought that shirt just for hanging out with him. So I figured that he would like come looking kind of nice to like impress and he ended up coming in his swimsuit with like a lifeguard t-shirt on and we met up in front of a PetSmart. After that, we didn't really know what we were gonna do because we just wanted to like talk and everything. So I was really trying to work the conversation in and we ended up talking and walking and it was so hot and I was sweating everywhere. It was so gross. So after a while, we were just like walking and talking and we decided since his car was parked in the shade, we were gonna go and sit in his car or like open up the back of it because he drove an Explorer so you know, the back of it will come all the way up. So he opened the back of it, we were in the shade, we were talking, and the security guard at this mall was like staring us down thinking that we were gonna like do something really bad, but we weren't. And keep in mind, his car was kind of like in the corner where it was shady, behind the building of the mall, like the outdoor mall, so like outside of the PetSmart. So it was kind of in a secluded area, so it like wasn't probably the best place to like go with someone I had just met, but we were sitting there and just talking and he wasn't like someone that was scary. I probably could lift more than him. So at this point, like, you know, no harm, no foul. So then at this point we had been talking for about two hours, just hanging out. And he asked me if I wanted to go to a pool party and it was at his friend's house. So I was like, okay, yeah, like, I guess so. That'll be fine. Oh, he was like, if you follow me, um, we can just like go to the party together and everything. And I was like, okay. So I, like, I followed him and we drove maybe like 25 minutes. It's like it was not that far. I had driven already 45 at this point. We pull up to this mansion. When I tell you it was a mansion, it was the biggest house I've ever seen in my entire life. And I already knew that his friend was the one whose house it was. His friend's girlfriend was going to be there. And then like, oh my God, I actually had my swimsuit with me now that I think about this. I didn't plan this, but my swimsuit was actually in my car, which is why it worked out. Um, we got there, there was food. And it turns out like it was a really like low key party. It was like really nice. It was great. And he and I had like plenty of time to bond. His friends were super nice. So we're gonna call his friend Holden and we're gonna call his girlfriend Ver Veronica. Holden and Veronica the entire time were like, making out, hugging, like just laying all over each other in the pool, like inseparable. And then Veronica's like, oh, I have to go because her parents are super strict, so she left. Um, Connor had to go get his stuff from his house and he didn't want to take me for some reason to like just wait in the car outside of his house. He left me at the party. Holden was there and his girlfriend had already left. At this point, there were like less people at the party because it was getting kind of late, but I didn't want to leave because Connor said, just wait here, I'll be back in like five minutes. Holden, who had a girlfriend, was hitting on me per like way too much and it was kind of weird because Holden was like 
I, I've never liked a girl like you before and I was I had just met him it was the weirdest thing in the whole entire world and he was just like hitting on me way too hard and Connor wasn't there to like say like lay off or anything and I was telling him I was like uh like you know I like your friend Connor and at this point Connor and I had been talking for like three weeks but this was like the first day we had actually met and so like I kind of got to know Connor and everything and Connor had never once mentioned that his friend was like this. He kind of just like said, oh yeah, he's like so in love with his girlfriend, but yet he was saying these things to me. I was in the bathroom changing out of my swimsuit because Connor was gone and I was like, oh, then we're not gonna be in the pool any longer. And Holden walks in and locks the door behind us. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, please leave. At that point I had put on my shirt and I was still wearing my bottoms, ran out of there and Connor literally walks in at this point and he's like, oh, hi. And he sees, Hold and walk out of the bathroom after me. So Connor had only been gone for maybe 15 minutes at this point, and I was like, I was like, hey, how are you? Like, your friend's being really weird. Is there any way that we can like go somewhere else? And he's like, oh, I had to get my stuff because I'm sleeping over here. And he asked if I wanted to sleep over, and I didn't want to because at this point his friend Holden was being super creepy. I'm gonna go home and sleep at my house. Like, I don't want to be here anymore because it was getting really weird. Holden's girlfriend Veronica had already left, but she like the entire night had been like, you're so pretty, like being really nice to me, and I felt awful at this point because she had a crappy boyfriend and then Connor didn't care that this had just happened and I was just like okay like whatever this is weird I I, I don't know I just kind of like brushed it off but I was like this is odd so at this point there had already been two red flags I don't know why I decided to go to his house for this other pool party because he had already asked me to sleep over the night before and his friend had hit on me and he like let it happen and let it slide and it was like totally fine to him. His friend had also said some really weird things. So like I told him everything that had happened and Connor was totally fine with this because apparently Holden has a free pass to just, you know, be a fuck boy. And the next day Connor and I were talking and I was, you know, just talking to him and he was like, hey, like this Sunday, I'm gonna be having a pool party myself at my place. Do you wanna come? And I was like, yeah, I wanna come. So then I go to the pool party and this is the second time that I've ever met him. He did not tell me anything about this pool party. All he said he was he was throwing a pool party and I he wanted me to come. He had already introduced me to his friend Holden and all the other people that he had met at the party as someone that he was dating. So like I was like, okay, this is kind of weird. And on it was a Sunday around like maybe 10 a.m. at this pool party. So I pull up and I see a huge cross in his front yard. And it was totally fine, except for the fact that there were like people running around everywhere like it was the weirdest thing ever because they it was like a pool party and a real party like it wasn't something that was just like you know a casual pool party with a few people over it was like a church congregation's pool party at his house and he knew that I was not his religion so I'm not 100% sure why he like even thought he could like not warn me about this because my swimsuit was very revealing I walk up to his house and he does not acknowledge me he says hi to me like a little bit later, but he doesn't acknowledge me right away and all these people are from his church. So I'm just the odd one out. I like walk in, they're all playing a game, they convince me to play this game, but I think they think that they're like trying to convert me to their religion because it was the weirdest thing ever because they were like really, really trying to get me to, you know, go to church with them. I was wearing like cheeky, cheeky bottoms. Everyone else there was wearing one pieces and I was wearing a bikini with cheeky bottoms and my nipples were like the only things that were covered. It was, it was bad because like I, I thought it was just a teenage party. Like I didn't think that it was something that, you know, a church group would be at. He ignores me for most of the time. I meet his mother and I meet his whole entire family. I did not expect to do that. So we're all just like hanging out and it was like pretty chill. It was fine. Like it wasn't that bad. I, I can hold my own. <laughs> We obviously went off Tinder, so we looked at each other and then I covered for it and I was like, oh, we met at this pool party at his friend's house last night. Like, I literally just said that. Like, I, I figured that would be like the easiest way to explain the situation without having his mom question anything because she knew that he was at his house the night before. So I said that, we were in the clear, and then he like ignores me the rest of the time until it comes time to clean up. And this is when like the thing ends. And at this point, I had like planned on spending time with him afterwards. So I was like gonna help him clean up and everything. We're like walking stuff in to put it into their garage and he's like, oh, Sydney, like, can you come with me to help me like put this away? And it was something that he could have done clearly on his own. But I was like, okay, I don't know. Maybe it's tall. He's pretty tall, but maybe like 
he needs me to like hold it while he like gets on the step stool or something. I don't know. I was just thinking, whatever, he needs help. So we go into the garage and in his garage it's attached to a movie theater. So I didn't know this because I'd never been to his house before, but he opens the door that's connected to the garage that's not connected to his house, if that makes sense. So it's like a separate garage and then a movie theater. He walks in and he pushes me onto the couch and we had only like kissed at this point so it was like kind of like not expected whatsoever he starts ripping my clothes off and I have only hung out with him this is the second time his family is there the movie theater has like it's pretty dark but the curtains that close it that open out to the yard are like completely open so everyone can see us whoa 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 Connor like hold up I don't want to do this like this is not right and he's like can you just let me stick it in and I was like, <laughs> I was like in shock because we were like, hadn't really done anything and he hadn't tried to even like hold my hand or talk to me the entire time at this event and then he does that and I was like, what? And he literally said, can you just let me stick it in? And I was like, no. And I walk out of the garage, I see his mom. And his mom sees him walking out after me from the movie theater and she's like, what were you guys doing in there? And I was like, I don't know. And I walked straight to my car. I left like everything besides, I had my car keys with me already and I just drove away. I was so done. I was like, oh my God, this guy is like the weirdest person in the whole entire world. And I felt so violated, but he hadn't like obviously like done what he had asked. So it wasn't, it wasn't like a violation, but it felt like a violation of my privacy. And he didn't text me the entire time I went home or anything. He just calls me and he's like, Sydney, I don't think we can be anything. And I'm just like, honestly, I knew it wasn't going to work out, but I didn't really want anything in the first place. So I Snapchatted him the day after and he had blocked me and he only blocked me for like maybe a month and then he unblocked me and refollowed me on everything. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you didn't like it or if you guys want to hear other story times, you know, leave feedback down below in the comments. Um, if you guys are new to my channel and you guys like these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications and follow me on Snapchat and follow me on Instagram and subscribe and love me and I'll love you back and send cute selfies to each other on snap Talk to you guys soon and I'll see you guys in my next video or on snapchat But I love you guys so much 